Hello and welcome to a, another episode of OFN Tech. Your host Robert Brown here and today we're going to be teaching you how to do subtitles for your videos. The first thing you need to do is actually get a video. This can be a recording from a game you have or it can be from a movie that you've ripped onto your from your CDs or your DVDs or anything, even music. But we're going to be using uh, video game footage because that's generally the most used thing well for subtitles in the world well in my opinion anyway so we're just going to pick a random video here we're going to pick this one this 16 second one it's a short one so it can you can use a very short one that will get you off the ground it would be best if it had you know voice interaction with it or in the case of a music video you need to display the titles for someone with hard of hearing or who may just like the lyrics on the screen as you can learn some of them themselves and we're just going to play this footage here as it is only 16 seconds let's play this footage Now, as you might might have noticed, the only the only really predominant things was uh, a voice from Neo Cranium, and he said "you." So we're going to add another video track. We're going to move to where he says "you." There he is, and you can see here on the timeline it actually registers quite quite quite. Um, Visually, so we can use this as a reference guide to insert a text media. It also is a very good indication of where it you ends. So scroll this back, right click on the side of the text media to scroll it back. Let's watch that again. Now, it might be better just to extend it on a tiny bit and move it back a tiny bit. Now, that's, per that's almost near perfect. Very good. Now, we're going to edit this text over here. If you have not embedded this in a, a sort of on the screen or the window itself, it'll pop out, it'll pop out as a, a window or as a separate window, and you can edit it like this. So, he says you like that. Now, it does edit quite well. You can see it says you, but it's in the middle of the screen and that won't appeal to your users or to your video users. So it's best to shorten it down and put it in a corner or on the bottom or on the top or on the sides. It's on your own input, but it's better to put it on the corner like this so it looks you can see more of the image that's in the middle rather than being obstructed by text so again you can see it's more more pleasing than seeing a big block of text coming into your view in the middle of a game or if it's very intense or like scary like slender seeing slenderman and then putting subtitles in the middle that's just blocking the view and the viewer won't get the full intensity of it. Now that's a simple way of editing text and putting text on a video. Remember, the text always has the text media always has to be on top of the video, not below it or in it. Otherwise, if it's in it, it'll turn the screen black and only show the text. If it's below it, it won't even show it at all. Next up we're going to show you the advanced view of taking this material and turning all textly and cartoonish. Now you can see it's in the corner there. It's not doing very good in that corner. So we're going to edit it back to the center as much as we can. That sounds right about it. And we're going to go click on video event FX. 
Press Council when this screen pops up. And you can see, if you zoom out a bit, click on any corner, zoom out with your scroll wheel, you can see this sort of circle and a screen in the middle. This is, this is like you are a planner of where the material is going to go. So I want this to start in the corner over here. I want to start in the corner over here and zoom across the screen. Zoom across the screen, turn, give it a little bit of twist and come off of the screen. So this big F here is where is what the users will see on the end result. So this timeline here will show uh, if you're making multiple edits of this text here, you can scroll to here and then drag this across scroll to here, drag this across, and then scroll to here and twirl this around. But since we're doing it for simplicity, we're going to go straight to the end. And we're going to drag it off the screen and twirl it. It doesn't have to be exactly what I do. It can be anything. So if I really wanted to, I could make it go like this, or this, or this, or this. But I want to make it do this. And you see this little diamond shaped thing here that's in the corner now. This is to signify that this piece has been edited and there is something significant about this timeline. And, this, and if we go back to our timeline here in the main screen, we can see this is made, well, this has taken effect. Now, this may have seemed like it was, it was the desired effect, but I actually said before I wanted to go off here. It is a bit of trial and error once you're doing these things. To change this, all you really need to do is click on the little diamond shaped thing in the corner. We call it the diamond shaped thing because I generally call it that. Now you can see it's quite off the screen. We don't want it to be off the screen, reappearing on, onto the screen and coming off the screen. So we're going to have to go back to the original I see you can snap back. We're going to have to go back to the original and change it. So it's going to be more like this. Almost there. See, that's a perfect example of moving text on a screen and acting as subtitles at the same time. This is used on many, vid many comedic videos on YouTube. You can Google it for yourself. And you'd see that people generally use this just to fool around with. Also, if you want to fade the fade the text, so it's just sort of looks like it's coming at you. You can do that by right clicking on the left corner and bringing the fade offset inwards. So dragging it, so clicking on the top left or right hand corner, dragging it in to the desired length. And there you go. That is text added in two ways on Sony Vegas Pro 12 into video. I hope you've enjoyed this OFN tech video. I'm your host, Robert O'Brien, and have a very good day. And also, if you like this video, please comment on giving me suggestions and subscribe, please, if you really do like my material. Until then, take care and goodbye.